there's multiple ways to upgrade an AVER camera. Now, I'm gonna show you a method using the PTZ app and upgrading it over the USB connectivity on it. But you do have an option to use in a web-based connection uh, or even management to it. Most of our new cameras actually can be updated with the Windows Update service. So if you just leave it connected, it will get the latest uh, GA version of our software. But let's just say that you um, are participating in our beta program or you have an older rev that you want to back rev to. To be able to download software, you could either get it from our main website or you could actually uh, have the unit upgrade on its own. So when looking at the PTZ app, which is probably the easiest way to do it, you could always get information on an individual camera. Now, right now, I have software for a Cam 520 Pro 2, something that engineering gave me. I got to test it out. Uh, currently, I am a, at a .64 version. They had given me a 67. So from here, I'm going to go to settings, go to system. And if I wanted to go with the auto update, it will connect up to our services and download the firmware automatically and just update. But in this instance, I had downloaded it to my laptop. So I'm going to click manual. It does give you the warning to do not disconnect this camera. It's really important not to do that. But once you select it and you press open, the firmware is updating through the USB port to the camera. It's going to go through its cycles and update all the uh, the uh, chipsets that are in there. So that's why it's really important not to uh, unplug the uh, the power on this camera. Now, if you do and you unplug the power accidentally, really important just to let it boot up completely, unplug it again, plug it in again, let it refresh, and then try again. So once this is done, the uh, software will be updated and you're good to go.